All right, guys, uh, this video is just to show you that I'm still alive. Uh, a lot of people told me that uh, that I would get killed by uh, training with my DIY uh, wooden leg press. That's not the case. I'm, as you can see, still here. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, the last, the past week, I've been building the, the retaining wall that you see uh, behind me here. So I haven't really had the time to, to do any videos uh, or build any new stuff. Uh, so today I want to talk about an alternative to a, a bubble. Uh, right now it's quite hard to find a bubble. Um, those that are available are, are either special bars that won't serve everybody's needs uh, or the very high-end and very expensive uh, weightlifting bars. So today I'm going to talk about an alternative that it's very simple to make and doesn't cost a, a lot of money. And it's one that I've uh, made a video about before. If you're only used to train with a, a regular bubble, then this one is gonna be different for you, that's for sure. But uh, it's still something that you can benefit of. You can uh, do the exact same exercises that you would do with a normal bubble, but this one is gonna challenge your grip a lot more. And uh, of that same reason, you won't be able to lift the same amount of weight uh, because your grip is going to be the limiting factor. But improving your grip strength is something that will transfer to uh, many other lifts, uh, such as all the pulling exercises, pull-ups, uh, deadlifts, uh, rows, uh, and so on. It's also going to give you a firm handshake. So a fat bar is uh, commonly used uh, within strongman training, and uh, their competitions it basically has the same diameter as the sleeves that you'll find on a normal uh, Olympic bubble, so around 50 millimeters. This one is 48 because it's a one and a half inch pipe. And then I just put uh, a wall flange in each end. But I usually recommend people to just buy an extra set of uh, lock jaws, or you can use spring clamps or some heavy duty clamp that you can find in a hardware store. And the reason for that is that the wall flanges, uh, when I bought them, the hole in the back piece here wasn't the, uh, the exact size for the, the pipe, so I had to, to get that milled up. So. I just recommend buying an extra set of lock jaws. Okay, so again, uh, you can use it for the exact same exercises with, as you do with a normal barbell. You can do deadlift, bench press, shoulder press, cleans, back squat, surgery squat, you name it, curls. And for most of the exercises, especially those where uh, the weight will be pulling you, such as the, the deadlift or a row, uh, it's going to be challenging because you'll need a good grip strength to hold the barbell. But for exercises like the back squat or the searcher squat where you put the barbell here and do squats or uh, such a carry with it, it's actually going to be easier because it has a much bigger surface. Uh, so the, the weight will be distributed uh, on a bigger surface on your body uh, because of that. And the first time I did searcher squats with my fat bar, uh, I immediately uh, set a new PR because it's what's uh, because it was so much easier to, to do. Deadlift, it's more challenging on your grip and uh, the bubble is a, a little bit further away from your body. That might be challenging for some people. If you do a lot of uh, Olympic weightlifting, such as the clean and the snatch, uh, then the, the fat bar might not be the best option, uh, but you can still do it. And the reason for that is it doesn't have rotating sleeves. So when you do a clean, and when you get it up here and uh, it doesn't have the rotating sleeves, it's, it seems to be a little uh, tougher on your body, uh, but you can still do it. Where in a normal bubble, the sleeves will rotate the plates and the same goes for the, for the snatch. Front squat. The front squat might also be a little easier for some people, uh, because the bubble again is uh, a larger, so your fingers will have a bigger surface to rest on, and pressing exercises is also possible. That's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. 
Here's a few other videos that might find your interest. I do have a few other DIY projects uh, on my mind and uh, I might do uh, another build this coming weekend. Uh, so stay tuned, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.